What is up, everybody? Welcome into this new video to Express. I'm going to be showing you today how to deliver an ad payment icons under the Add to Cart button inside of Shopify. I'm going to show you how to do this really, really, really easy. So first of all, what you want to do is to have an actual Shopify store. If you don't have the Shopify store, I'm going to leave you the link down below in the description so you can all get started totally for free. Now here, what I wanted to do is to scroll a little bit down. And here where it says add to the cart button, I want to add the payment icons under add to cart button. So far, I do have the buy with PayPal, but let's say that I wanted to add MasterCard or whatever. So the first process to go and enable the payment icons, let's go here inside of Shopify. And now that you're here into the Shopify, what you want to do is to locate into the low part, the settings, and then locate payments. Inside payments, this is the part what you wanted to enable. What are the payment elements that you wanted to enable into your store? Since I do have enabled the PayPal, I am only able to add this payment me method, of course, into my store. That's the reason why we're only seeing the actual pay card, PayPal section here. But if I wanted to add something else, I'm going to go here and to choose a provider. And then what you wanted to do, let's say, for example, that I wanted to accept, I don't know, maybe Apple Pay. I wanted to accept Visa. I want to accept MasterCard, whatever and choose the best one that suits for you depending on what country you're currently living. In my case, it's already been enabled the actual Stripe. So what you wanted to do, of course, is to create an account with the third party provider that you choose in order to accept this payment provider. So I'm going to skip this part for you really, really simple. And well, now I am accepting Visa, MasterCard, American Express, and Apple Pay. So if I hit here into Managed, I need to enable the elements that I wanted to accept into my pay payment account. Now, this is the very first part. Let's go for the second part. Let's go now here to the X mark and let's go inside the online store. Inside the online store, what I do want to do is to locate the customized section. Here into customize, what you want to do is to locate the products. I'm going to choose one product. You have to do this with all the products since all of them actually works with an actual template, in this case products, and here's my actual default products. So everything we do here into this template is going to be applied to all the products of our pro uh, store. Now in this case, what I wanted to do is just scroll a little bit down. And you can see that we have uh, here all the actual element. What you want to do is to enable the show dynamic checkout buttons here into the upper side. If you don't want to enable this, just disable them. So we can use the payment method available into the store. Customers see the preferred options, for example, PayPal or Apple Pay. So if I enable this one, you can see that below the add to the card is going to be apparent uh, here, this actual element. So I'm going to just enable it and hit now into save. And there you go. This is one way of how we can focus and to buy it now. Now, the second solution that I can give you just in case you wanted to see these new elements that appears in here, all of them directly a little bit below the actual price or below the buy it now, then what I wanted to do is to do this manually. So I'm going to try to go back here. I'm going to reload the page and check out how it actually looks my buttons here. I'm going to go for more payment options. And you should see that we have only one payment available. So I'm going to go back here. I'm going to scroll all my way down. And I wanted to make sure that I have this pillow of payment method. I'm going to go and go for right clicked and choose the option that says inspect element. It's going to be popping up all of this section. Once again, you don't have to worry about it. Just focus and click into the folder. And now here, what I wanted to do is to locate the folder class, which in this case is going to be showing me only the actual payment. So here are my footer payment. So I select it. And as you can see, here's my payment list. This is the actual element we want to add directly a little bit below the buy it now. So what I want to do is to copy this element. I'm going to go back here and then later on what I want to do is to add a new block and choose a custom liquid. This custom liquid should be below the buy buttons. Remember? So here is my buy buttons and I paste my liquid code that we could copy it from the inspector. Once again, it's not that hard to choose those elements. So it's going to appear in a lot of them and you can see here appears in them. And I'm going to go now into save. Let's go back into our store. I'm going to close this element and I'm going to reload the page to make sure this actually worked it. So I'm going to reload it. And scrolling a little bit down, you should see that we have now the out of the card, the buy with PayPal, and more payment options appears in here. 
and voila, it's not that hard. It's actually really, really simple, guys. There's two methods. You sell both of them here into this tutorial. So guys, just in case you have any questions, you can leave it down below in the comment section. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more great Shopify tutorials inside TechPress. Thank you so much for watching the video, guys. Hopefully, we can all see you next time.